Have you ever heard the following that people dislike or hate something for no particular reason just do? They can't explain why, but they just do and they want you to leave them alone, hating and disliking in ease. So they have a negative attitude or an aversive attitude towards something. They can't explain why they have that attitude, but everyone around them just has to accept it. Okay, let's continue with this reasoning. So what if you have someone who is targeting someone else with psychic violence by negative meditation? And also people, some, then you have people asking him, why are you targeting the individual with psychic violence? Why are you endangering the other individual's life? Well, I have my reasons. I don't really know why. Just leave me alone. So that would also mean that someone has a right to violate someone else because they don't know why, but they just want to or they just have a reason. What if you have someone that's molesting a child? Are you going to say, well, just leave them alone. They have the reasons also. Why am I talking about this? It is because there's one thing you need to realize about worldly people. If you've been following my channel for a while, I told you this over and over again. And I'm making this video again to remind you of it. Worldly people are deeply inconsistent. Why? Because they don't serve Christ. So they end up following lies. So they have their inconsistencies that are not obvious from the start. For example, people that claim to have boundaries or that they enforce strict boundaries that are very clear about what they want and what they don't want. Those same people, the moment you decide that you don't want to get along with their self-imposed restrictions, they don't care about your will nor what you want. They just dump negatively on you. And here's the thing. When you attempt to make you do something that they don't want, they tell you that you shouldn't force yourself on them. But when they can't stand you, now they don't care how it affects you. They just dump their psychic violence on you. And everyone else has to deal with it. So that's inconsistent. It doesn't go together. And if you confront them with this inconsistency, they will brush it off or they will attack you. Now, are there worldly people who are upright? Yes, there are. But they're still deceived because they are worldly. They need Christ to be born again and delivered. You are dealing with the general in daily life, not with the exceptions. So stop looking for the exceptions. Learn how to deal in a constructive way with the general. And in general, worldly people are deeply inconsistent. They want, this is what they secretly want. They can't say this openly because it sounds very ridiculous. We'll say it is quite ridiculous, but this is what they secretly want. They want a group of people or an individual that they can victimize 24-7 without anyone telling them to stop. That is what they want. Because then they have something or someone else in the negative daylight and they are now, are now free from having to examine themselves. At least that's what they think. If they have something or someone else to put in negative daylight and this is supported by the group, then nobody will look at them and nobody will, nobody will ask them constructive questions. Because once you begin to ask them constructive questions, They'll face their inconsistencies very quickly. And then they realize that they need help and that they can't do it on their own and that they need God. And this inherent neediness of their humanity, they reject it. They are against it. They don't want to accept themselves for what they are. So this rejection, they project onto others. That's why they want to have something or someone to hate or dislike for no actual reason. Why? Because they want something or someone else in a negative day life so that they are relieved. And this craving of theirs for relief goes so deep that they will even join, join cults where they are abused and mistreated as long as they can relieve themselves by putting something or someone else in a negative daylight. I'm telling you, see this inconsistency of worldly people. The earlier you see it, the better you can deal with it in a constructive way. Not all worldly people Continue in this. There are worldly people that realize, don't a minute, what am I doing? And they look for help. Such worldly people exist. If you encounter one of them, praise the Lord. They are very close to the truth. But in general, worldly people don't 
want to look at themselves. They don't want to comply with justice. They don't want to comply with solutions. They just want ease and relief. And the way they get ease and relief is by putting something or someone else in a negative daylight. And they do this in groups. That is why religion works. That is why cults work. Because in cults and religion, they put a target group in a negative daylight and they victimize the target group so that the community that's part of the religion of the cult is relieved. Now, I'm not saying that everyone who's involved in religion is there because they want to victimize others. No, but that is what the system promises and that's why it attracts so many worldly people. Religion and cults are not attractive to born-again believers. Why? Because we have the Holy Spirit. We have the source to rely on. We have the supply that comes from God. So we don't need to victimize others to get narcissistic supply. The world around you runs on narcissistic supply. People want something or someone else in a worse state than they are so they can feel good about themselves. So when you encounter people that can't stand you and they can't explain why, now you know the reason why. They just want an outlet for their frustrations because they don't want to face themselves. They are on the run. They are running away. Instead of facing themselves and facing things in life, they are running away. And this running away makes them tired. And this tiredness, as well as the happiness comes along with it, they want to lose it. And they lose it by dumping it on a third party. That is how they do. You have couples that do this. Neither the husband nor the wife or the boyfriend or girlfriend can get along because they both have their defective ways of thinking, but they have a third party, maybe one of the children or one of the parents that they are victimizing through psychic rage. And because of this, they are, they are at ease together and they stay together. They're quite dysfunctional, so they shouldn't even be together. The only reason they can endure being together is because they have a third party upon whom they dump all the psychic trash. Your families will operate this way when you have a golden child and a scapegoat child. In society, this also happens where you have a dark group, where it's Moroccans, Chinese, or, or whatever the group is. Or blacks, yeah, blacks are often used for that. Just realize this about worldly people that craving for relief is what binds them together, and that is what they have in common. And that is what keeps them at ease. When they can't dump their psychic trash on a third party, that psychic trash will haunt them and they will eventually explode and do very, very bad stuff. Now, nobody wants to go through that. That's why in the world is tolerated to blackmail and victimize nobodies. Because then nobody has to deal with it. So, understand this, there are people that will become your enemy simply because they need someone to dump their psychic trash on. So it's all and pure based on the, this craving for relief. And you'll have groups of people that will join those victimizers against you because they want relief also. You will have relief-seeking gangs harassing you because they all want to avoid the obvious. So, always see this about worldly people and take constructive actions on time. This is for now. Keep agreement with Christ and be at peace.